show has quite a bit of potential to be a lot of people's favorite um i for some reason get a lot of sword eye vibes just because i guess how strong the main guy is and incomparable to the main girl as well so it's kind of like asana and kimito when they're just as broken as they are and they complement each other so well um but outside of that with the vortex being on display what the interesting thing for me is and what I think is already kind of lame if I'm already right because there hasn't been any real explanations <laughs> but if I call this I am sorry for spoiling <laughs> but I'm just taking a guess at it after seeing it this week but the guy who actually is Helping the other side with the ice princess, uh, ice princess, the masked man—that's what they called him. Uh, he, what if he was the one that actually gave our main character his swords? Right, that's what he's feeling like to me. That's what the vibe I'm getting off of him. I don't keep that in mind, okay? Like, I don't know if I'm at full 100% right, but that's the vibe I'm getting especially after you know being so impressed with the control that he had with his body to dodge someone coming up from behind him that he clearly didn't know too much about because if he knew he was that close to him if he knew he was about to be in that much danger he would have reacted and attacked um, or at least defended himself but regardless he had to defend the one person he's worried about going there and that's the uh, captain after she's captured by some witches who have been imposing as some types of squad members. Funny enough, the guy who's the leader of the operation supposedly knew about this. And what does he do? He just follows them in stealth mode and wanted to make sure he was correct. So he allowed one of these uh, members to pretty much get captured to better his chance of understanding what the uh, enemy team could have had in mind so that's the type of person we're dealing with here on our squad and nameless is pretty trash because not only does he tr act like he was fighting at his fullest the whole time and there's some things that when they happen in anime they're gonna start happening more and more throughout other animes because they're so influential and there's two different things that happened in two different shows that were something that reminded me of other shows that just made it that much more hype for me because I'm seeing it. But uh, the one in this show with Nameless dodging the uh, swords that all the Ice Princess throw. I just call her Ice Princess. <laughs> um, all those swords that she throws at him, he dodges and dodges and then winds up catching two of them and pretty much throwing them back. Um, this is really reminiscent of Fate Zero when Lance Sir Lancelot or Berserker or yeah not Lancelot Berserker uh pretty I I think I just spoiled it if you haven't seen it but go watch Fate Zero look up the very like first encounter of all the heroes and stuff when they're when they get greeted by Gigamesh and it's literally Berserker versus Gigamesh the first time they meet and yeah that exact instance is in there so please do check that out because you will be kind of surprised how cool they just made this moment seem without even really needing to um fully do the exact same thing that the other show has done but fate zero being such a beautiful animatedly sh animated show it's not it's no surprise people would take influence from them in the case of fighting choreographics because that's even just as dope as their animation but regardless of all that um this show is actually really good i highly suggest anybody who hasn't like fully figured out if they want to watch it or not 
just check it out give it a chance uh there is potential in the future for more of this stuff so if that's something else you're kind of worried about it's like it looked like it was going to go anywhere it looked like it was going to be wishy-washy um the thing about it about this week's episode is finding out about the pure uh pure breeds and how they have the blood of the founders the same person who it took both of them to pretty much team up to just take her down for a little bit and not actually get rid of her forever and because of this it goes to showcase how ridiculously powerful you are if you just have some of the blood of these uh found of the founder so take that as you will uh our characters also jumped into the vortex so by them going in the vortex and the mask guy saying that if anyone were to go in there about one two or one to two people go in there they would come out significant or at least a bit stronger right um there was three people that went in there and i don't think uh it should count by how many people are in there or just like luck factor i think it should go to the first two people and then the third person was just there to save them pretty much from after being because that's my other reasoning why i think this is the uh his teacher it's because imagine him like seeing his student after all this time and the one thing he has to do is fight him because of the situation that they're in but not only that he has a chance to now strengthen the same student that he already has to go and fight the founder i'm just spitballing he, this could completely be a new character altogether and a villain at that but he's now put his student into a vortex that's going to make him stronger naturally in the case of like not no training just draining the vortex and maybe even made one of his comrades stronger as well so it's a huge bump if they did if it did work that way i think the power might have gone to the ice princess though like let's be honest it probably did so if it is don't be surprised if it's her and our main guy or her and the captain that would be an interesting twist if the dark character didn't get it because he's already broken enough to survive a missile explosion from point blank range <laughs> well with all that being said everybody have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you're watching this i am your boy the anime g and i will definitely talk to you sooner than later so with that being said take care and peace.